Welcome, welcome in. I thought I already turned on the stream closed captioner. I did, it's on. I don't know what you mean, hello. It's on. It's already on. <laughs> what the heck? What the, <laughs> the title? <laughs> Kiss my ash for good reason. I think you know why. I think you know why. I remember why. Well, loosely. I loosely remember why. <laughs> That's the benefit of a good title, is it helps you when you haven't played this game in like 50 years. Whoops! Life! Whitney, congrats on your first redeem. Let's go. Let's go. Um, how are you doing? How's it going? How's this week been? Today's been a day. It's been a weird day. And I've been kind of busy this week and I almost didn't stream tonight again <clears throat> and I thought you're schlippy I same though same I took Rigel for a walk and I was like I'm gonna pass out baby what if I just took a nap and I was like it's too close to stream to take a nap how the hell's about Arya <laughs> Seb welcome in how the hell's about are you I had a weird day of work today because I very well could have lost my job today. Uh, not for anything that I did. <gasps> Mateos, thank you for doing your daily stargaze. Nothing to do with me. Company stuff that is irrelevant of my performance, which is above and beyond excellent. Um, but I did it. But I, I didn't. I did. Some people did. But most of us didn't, and honestly, I'm impressed in the way that our company leadership has stood up uh, to make it so that the conversation that we very weirdly had to have today and this impromptu, like at 2 p.m., they sent out an email and they were like, please everybody attend this 3 p.m. meeting, clear your schedule to be here. Like if you have another thing going on, please don't and come to this meeting instead. And I was like, that's not good. <laughs> I don't like emergency all hands on deck meetings with like no context. <laughs> and I got in the call and then yeah, our like company CEO was in there, which is not good because he's never in our like team meetings, like our 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 like bigger team meetings. Never is the CEO is never in those. And I was like, oh my god, and nobody looked happy. And I was like, oh, Oh, not good because I just started looking at the, considering the idea of buying a house instead of looking for an apartment. Um, and I was like, no, I just started like getting into the actionable things in this process. Don't, if I don't have the income, I'm fucked. Said I can't do that. Uh, yikes. Scary. Don't lose your job. Put a collar on that thing. I Yeah, exactly. I don't want to lose my job. It was stressful. You want this lipstick? Seb, I always think of you when I choose this lipstick because every time I wear it, you say something about it. I know that you really like it. Mateos42 <laughs> asked me, why might a company call an impromptu meeting on short notice? A company might call an impromptu meeting on short notice for various reasons, such as addressing urgent issues, making sudden decisions, or conveying important updates that cannot wait. It could also be a tactic to catch employees off guard and increase compliance with company directives or changes. Thank you, GLaDOS. Yeah, it wasn't good. It was scary. Did you get bad poops after that? No, I didn't, but I was very anxious going into the meeting, I can say that. Every time our company does that to us, it's because they have decided to feed us, but didn't tell anyone. <laughs> so you still get the stomach drop again, then you get the stomach full. That's way better. Glad I was giving us the inside perspective on evil bosses. That's true. That's true. For a decade or whatever, I don't remember when Portal came out. Oh, a long time ago, though. I know it was very late to the portal wagon. Yeah, so it freaked us all out. But, and things are definitely going to be weird at work. Like, there is an issue, and it has nothing to do with us. It's not our fault. It's not even my company's fault. Um, it's our client's fault. 
and it's a big issue and it could have ended up with 2007 ooh more than a decade then <laughs> wow oh my gosh yikes when a client is the issue yeah the client is the issue and the client was the issue in regards to money which was the problem <laughs> Souls, thanks for being here. Welcome. Welcome. Um, it's longer than I've been alive. 17 years. Okay. <laughs> Try more than double that, but thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sam. I'll take it. I'll take it. I work with a lot of banks and medical companies, so been there. Yeah, and... I, I freaked out going into the meeting. <gasps> Thank you for doing your daily stargaze. And for not being first, welcome, 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 welcome. I freaked out because actually the last company that I worked for uh, went under during the pandemic, but not because of the pandemic. So I did lose my job. And I went to that meeting and I was like, mm, oh no, I'm having flashbacks and it's not good. But I will still have a job and like we just have to get to like the questionable time is from now to October where it's and then in October like everything should essentially be back to normal but like between now and October it's it's got dicey and a lot of people could have lost their jobs. Yes it's not like a one week two week situation it's like multiple months. So, like, I don't know what my job is going to be from now to October, but I do know that I will still have a job, so I guess in a sense I don't care. So that's fine. As long as the money is still coming in at the same rate it was coming in before, I'm fine. I, I'll do something else if they need me to do something, whatever. <laughs> That's much more manageable, especially since I thought that conversation was going to go very differently. So it's fine. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. Probably. Most likely. Almost certainly. No problem. Thank you for doing your daily stargaze. <laughs> we only want to lose jobs on our terms when we are ready. Exactly. And as I've just been like foraying into the very scary world of home ownership, uh, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I finally, like, got some movement under my belt, and then, what, I'm going to lose my job, like, right then? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get another dog? What the heck? Mateo's got a falling star. Ooh. Ooh. The moment the money ain't right is the moment you stop trusting any promises, guarantees, logic, sense, anything. The money is the ultimate boss. Yeah, exactly. The money is mostly the thing that I care about with the whole job thing. It's mostly the money. It's like 99% the money. There are at least two binguses already that haven't been called. Oh. Seb, I remembered to turn bingo on. I thought that was enough. What didn't get called? Ow. I just kicked my desk. 99%. 99%. It's about the money. All right, hold on. I gotta go to the... Wait. No. Where do I go to the thing? I can't see the thing. Oh, I have to go in here? Oh, the catch a falling star? Oh yeah, that's right. The catch a falling star definitely did happen. You're right. You're right. You're right, I have to remember to do the bingo stuff. Call a quote? Oh yeah, you did call a quote. You did call a quote. You're right. Possibly Yelzeba. Mm, I wouldn't say Yelzeba. This is more like share stories of a. <laughs> Slightly Ventsiba, but not really Yelzeba. Because it's okay, because I still have a job, so it's okay. I'm not yelling because I have a job, so it's okay. Companies who think we aren't there mostly, if not only for the money, are delusional. Agree. <laughs> Agree. I'll be back later. Sorry, souls. No worries. No worries. Did you see that fishing maxi game? 
Can you, can you speak up about the yells of the thing? <laughs> no. No, don't worry. It'll happen. Oh, no, wait. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. It might happen. It could happen. I forgot what day it was because I haven't streamed on a Tuesday in so long and I almost said it'll be fine because we're playing Hades and I'll, something will happen with those stupid fish or dumb something will show up and then I'll yell about that. But it's not Thursday because I'm actually finally streaming on a Tuesday for once because I almost didn't stream. Again. Because as I mentioned, I'm foraying into the scary world of home ownership, which means I have to do stuff. <laughs> Prepping things, filling out forms and stuff, money things. Which is why the job stuff was so concerning. Ugra, hello. Welcome. I noticed you added Steffi back to the redeems, but you're on the couch. Oh, it should have come out. It should have come out, because I put Rigel Couch Co-op in the tags. Did it? Is it? Wait a minute. Oh, they're not supposed to be in today. They're supposed to automatically take themselves out. I'm going to manually take them out now. Hold on. Oh, maybe it's because of, like, when I restarted my computer and stuff, and I I may have started OBS before the bot was all the way open, and thus it didn't trigger. Oh, because I... You know what? We'll fix it. I bet. I bet, actually, I don't have to do this manually. I bet if I do this, then they'll go away? Maybe? Did it work? I don't know that it worked. It's... <laughs> okay, I guess technically it's a tech issue. You're right. You're right, you're on top of bingo. You're super on top of bingo. Homes are crazy expensive right now. That's an accurate statement. <laughs> yes, they are. You're waiting for prices to drop. I don't wanna be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep seeing all these things and they're like, who knows when things are going to go. And then they're like, actually though, I've seen so many things that are like, is it going to drop? Maybe. If it does drop though, if the interest rates drop, then the housing prices are going to go up because a shit ton of people are going to be like the competitive competition is going to drive the housing prices up. So even if the interest goes down, the housing will go up and then it'll end up being more money anyway. And I just had to sit down and be like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, homes are never going to be as cheap as they were ever again. And yes, they are insanely expensive. And like, should I be buying one right now? Probably not. But then I'll have one. <laughs> and then I can stop worrying about having to move or seeing if it's okay if I can have a dog or all this stupid bullshit, blah, 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 fucking whatever. A bunch of the people who are hoarding houses need to die all at once mysteriously. Yeah, there are a lot of people hoarding houses, which does not help. There are a lot of things that are not helpful here. I agree. We got so lucky when we bought. And the situation that allowed us to in the first place. Yeah, I am definitely not... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. In a good spot, but like, maybe it is the best spot from for now from now thank you for doing your daily stargaze z loves puppers so oh, does puppers november 2018 right before things went wild yeah exactly i wish i'd had enough money <laughs> to buy a house years ago I did not. <laughs> I did not have enough for down payments. Also, our neighbor shot a hole through our wall? What? There's a certain level of danger we can handle? What the heck? Oh my god. Also, though, cost of living down here is much less. That's true. <laughs> I do not live in a low cost of living area. 
We have a thing out here called rural development allowed us not to have a down payment. Wow. Rigel really being a pinup right now? <laughs> I know. Sometimes she is. <laughs> Seth loves you. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves her. I had to take her to the vet today to get a shot for the itchies. All the vet techs were fawning over her because what an angel she is at the vet. <laughs> oh, can I give her a thing? Can she have a cookie? Oh, they love her. Oh, they love her so much. I so, said, yeah, because every time she comes here, she gets cookies. <laughs> of course she's on good behavior. Food is her favorite thing in the world. Rural development was something like you have to make under 75k a year in your first time buying a home, I think. She can fit in my lap. She can fit in my lap. Kinda. <laughs> With a BB. I bet she'd like to be fully in a lap. Sometimes she does. She actually sat in my lap while I was working today. She sometimes does and curls up into a little croissant. And if I hold her, then she, then she can sit there for a while. Most well-behaved dog I've seen. That's what I tell everyone I meet whether they ask or not. I want to rub the belly. We love the belly. It feels like a horse's face. Like that super soft, like velvety muzzle. That's what it feels like. If you've ever pet a horse on the face, right? Like on the nose. That's what it feels like. Small people don't understand the vastness of my lap. <laughs> there you go. I spent a whole week on horseback before. That's so fun. That sounds awesome, actually. <laughs> Sweet baby. Everyone wants to see you. No. Oh. <laughs> well, the the can the camera angle really makes it look like she's like on a mountain decline, but it's just the camera angle. <laughs> I promise we're both very upright. <laughs> no, okay. Just don't eat your pizzas. My cats get to sit on boobs or nothing. <laughs> That's the way. That's the way. Nobody complains about sitting on boobs. I mean... That's accurate. I don't think I've ever heard one person complain about that ever, so... I think it's... I think it's not a bad life for a cat or many people. <laughs> don't eat that foot. Don't eat your feces. Don't eat your feces. <sighs> Truth. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way. It was actually nice out today, too. It was actually quite warm. So we went for a little walk, but we had to wait because it was too hot to go in the middle of the day. We're gonna have to pull out the coconut. I know. I know. I'm hoping, usually that stuff, the injection that she gets for when she's really itchy kicks in after like, probably by tomorrow, she'll start to do better. I don't mind if she does a little bit, a little, little bit of lickies are okay, but when it starts to turn into nibble bite town, then that's too all very sleepy. No, see now we're getting teethies, I saw them. <laughs> no teethies. No teethies. Yeah, you can lick my hand instead. Slobber. <laughs> Slobbery do. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, it's been a day. <laughs> it's been a day! Is everybody else having an okay day? Is it an okay Tuesday for everybody else? Oh, thank you. Oh, your tongue is so long. You licked me all the way in the ankle. Thank you. <laughs> she's 
She's a long baby. She's a long baby. Okay. Oh boy. I'm not tired, you're tired. I'm not yawning, you have no proof. Mostly, it just kind of blacked out and somehow all my work was done and I was home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but I wish. Hey, yeah, what are you doing? Are you going to leave me? Because you look like you're about to leave me. What are you doing? Little bum bum. Little bum bum. I see you too. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, little baby. Oh my gosh. Here, do you want this? What's this? You want it? You want you want it? She's like, no, not really. Are you sure? Do you no? She's not into it. She's not into it. Y'all, I am not gonna lie. I'm afraid to open out or else today. <laughs> I'm afraid because I feel like I have a, a, a vague memory of what I need to be doing right now. And also I feel like it, I need to have some brain available to do this. And I am running low because I lost it all. <laughs> I lost it all at work today. What are you doing? Ma'am. Shakey's. She's gonna go sit on my Glowforge box. I don't know why she likes to do that. But she does. <gasps> Whitney got a falling star. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I did wear my Outer Wild shirt. Like I have every Tuesday for this whole month. <laughs> Even though I did not ever get to stream it. Hey! Right. Oh, Rigel. fine <laughs> she's sitting on my glow furniture box best behaved dog that's what I say perfect angel puppy to be honest listen sometimes she's lovely and sometimes she's spicy I thought she was eating one of the boxes because she does like to chew on cardboard sometimes as I noticed the other day when I walked out of this room because I heard noises that I wasn't sure if they were good noises and my mommy senses were tingling and she was eating my Instant Pot box. <laughs> I think there should be some Rigel related bingo calls. Nalji, welcome. Thanks for being here and doing your daily stargaze. Wait, how are you here? Hello. 
Welcome. You can... I Listen, I'm happy to take suggestions for the bingo game. Oh, and in fact, I think I made a new command, which off the top of my head, I think is... Uh, exclamation point suggest and then you type in your suggestion it doesn't have to be for bingo that's just for like any idea and then it will automatically post that to the suggestions channel in the discord um so that you don't have to leave chat or nobody has to leave chat if there's like someone has a because that's happened in the past let's see if it worked i think that's what it was let me check yeah yeah, that's the way. So it is, it's exclamation point suggest, and then whatever your suggestion is. And then, oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Apparently, the Discord has a 30 second cooldown. I didn't know that. I didn't put a cooldown on it. I think it just comes on automatically. Unmute during sleep test intake. All wired up will lurk as long as I can. Also realize I should watch for spoilers. I promise to alert you before we head over to the game. Good luck on your sleep test. You can do it. <laughs> Ma'am. Hey, yeah. What are you doing? Well, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. But she's like eating dust off the floor. Hey! Rigel! Don't eat that. You're allergic to dust. Hey! Come here! Come here! Come here! Yes, come here! like yeah right yeah right do not eat that box come here look I brought this for you you can eat this look you can eat this what's this she's like I don't want that I don't want that toy I want to eat a box suggest so remove the cool down on the suggest command it must have put it on it must have put it on <laughs> <laughs> brought headphones. Oh. <laughs> Closed captions? There you go. There you go. You're allergic to dust. Is in fact allergic to everything. Yeah, accurate. Actually, let me see if the, um, let me see if there is a thing on there. I can look at it, actually. Uh, where is that under? No, not under that. It's under this. Do do. Let's see. Shaft. I think. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Melchy. Naughty! <laughs> For luck! For luck! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! For luck! <laughs> uh, oh my god, I cannot type! Boingo! Did you get bingo? Hey, is there a cooldown on this? Let me see. It might be an automatic thing because I don't think... Yeah, there is no... I don't have a cooldown on it. I didn't think I put a cooldown on it and I didn't. So I think that's a Discord thing and not a bot command thing. 
Yeah, so I don't think there's anything that I can do about that. I think that's a Discord thing. Maybe not on mobile. Okay. Okay. I'll catch the other side of this convo tomorrow when I'm home. <laughs> oh, wait. I can fix this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, I don't think I need these anymore. We could do this. We could do this. We could do this. Could I just type it in the chat? Yes. But this is more fun. It's more fun. <laughs> Could I have typed it in the chat? Yes. But why type it in the chat when I could do it on my whiteboard? <laughs> Go to sleep right through your test. Perfect. <laughs> the way that's the way you're gonna do great it's gonna be fine <laughs> thank you for hanging out here definitely while you prep <laughs> oh what a fun excuse to use a whiteboard why keep a whiteboard at your desk if you can't use it to write messages to your friends that you could definitely type into a chat that is formatted for it Collector, thank you for doing your daily stargaze. We do closed captioning just like the pioneers did. <laughs> Welcome in, Collector. How are you? How is it? How are, how are you doing? I had a weird day. It was a weird, it was a weird day. But we're here. I'm here. Rigel's here. She's chewing on her new little toy. You're sad? Why are you sad, Collector? Wait, why? But now you're happy? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hello, you. Niverse. <laughs> you want some cake? I'm in danger. Oh, come on, Munchkin. I'm starving. Fucking feed me. I'm doing great. I don't like rooms with just a chair in it. This is so sweet. Wait. Parkour, parkour. Just watch out for that red thing. Watch out for it. Watch oh! out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was his wife. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're only 78% sure. Ooh, it's a little bit low. But fucking send it for treatment anyway. This is a teaching hospital, so try your best. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that? What is that COVID-19 looking thing in the background? No, thank you. Here they come. With their little wee-woo heads. Wee-woo. Who wants to be a glimmyanolinaire? Wee-woo, wee-woo. Let's see her little face. Whoop. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, we love the intro video quotes. We love it. We love it. I'm gonna lurk ease a little bit while I clean up my office. Ooh, legit. My brain space has been messy and so is my office, so finger cross this helps. Helping. I hope it helps. You have the ambiance of space to comfort you while you clean. <laughs> Put it in a time capsule for future generations on a USB drive they'll never be able to use. <laughs> Rigel's toy absolutely does not. It's a little roly-poly bone. 
<laughs> Bongo! <laughs> It's just a little roly-poly, but... Oh. Now it's on the ground. <laughs> what great ambiance. The repeated death and frustration of space. <laughs> Perfect. I'm afraid to open the game, but it's gonna be fine. She threw it on the ground. She did. Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> Aw, are you sad? You dropped it. I didn't know. It fell down. I don't have another one and I can't reach that one from here. But you could get it if you wanted it. I get that reference. Yeah. Happy birthday to the ground. The ground. Collector 07 asked me if Kelzaba was a test subject, how well would they perform the tests? If Kelzaba were a test subject, their performance would likely be subpar <laughs> at best. Classic their tendency class. to get easily distracted and make careless mistakes would hinder their progress. Through the tests, they may struggle with problem solving and decision making under pressure, leading to frequent failures. Ah, ah, ah. In conclusion, Kel Zaba hey, would not it. be the ideal candidate leave for it. the rigorous testing protocols of the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Listen here, GLaDOS. I aced the shit out of both of those games. 100% to both of them. <laughs> you don't know me. And I don't know many people who have 100%ed both of those games because let me tell you about the effort it took to do, uh, I think the first one was fucking effort with a capital E and a period at the end. And then an enter and then just five exclamation points in a row. Rude. That's rude. Hey, hey, no, don't eat that. That's not a toy. That's a balloon holder. It's not grass. Which you also shouldn't be eating. Oh, here she goes. You like to legit offended? I'm dying. I, I am offended. I am offended. I crushed the shit out of those games. Rude. Glados is just a shrimp. Mateos42 <laughs> asked me. Who would uh, be a better test subject, Kelzaba or enough. her dog Rigel? Kelzaba's dog Rigel would undoubtedly make a superior test <laughs> subject course. compared to Kelzaba. Rigel's focus, wow. loyalty, and lack of distractions <laughs> would allow for more efficient completion of test protocols. Plus, Rigel's <laughs> actions would not be clouded by human error and incompetence like Kelzaba's. <laughs> Okay, so GLaDOS has just so shown how much she does not know me or Rigel. <laughs> Flip those immediately. She said incompetence. I know. She's rude. Funny that GLaDOS thinks Rigel is focused. Yeah, right, exactly. Hey. Rigel is probably the best behaved dog in the galaxy. <laughs> As she's currently, I think, being naughty. What are you doing? I can't... I can't see her back there! She's not! Rigel! Hey! She's eating my box. I think she's eating my box. Damn it. Right!
she's killing me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That would be the end of bingo. Right. She's antsy. She doesn't want to be in here, but I can't let her go in the other room because she's spicy. As my friend likes to say. Hey, right, come here. Hello, Miss Little Bum Bum. Hello, hi, what are you doing? Oh, being a pain in my bum bum is what she's doing. Okay, we're gonna just try to open the game and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Spoiler alert. Etc. Etc. We're going into Outer Wilds. Come on. Do you actually need to go outside? Spigel, <laughs> spicy Rigel. Yeah. Okay. Let me try and take her out and see if she calms down. Because maybe that's just what she needs and she's spicy because she has to go outside. Okay, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna get into the game. So, this is your time. If you're gonna prepare, prepare yourselves to be spoiled, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Suggest GLaDOS should be allowed to suggest things.
Okay. Okay. We'll see. Weird. The headphones sound funny. Okay. Hopefully that's good. <clears throat> that was me dying, not Seb dying. <laughs> oh, the quotes. God, we should be allowed to suggest things. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. She went spastic bananas outside. Which was a problem because I only had her on a regular five foot leash. So my arm went spastic bananas. Just found your space lines from the far out YouTube video randomly and checked to see if you were streaming and you are. Whoa, Aiden, no way. Welcome. Welcome on in. Hello. Glad that you're here. We're just about to get into Outer Wilds, uh, which I don't know if you have played that game or are planning to play that game. <gasps> Thank you so much for the follow. By the way, the GLaDOS suggestion went through. Uh, went through to the Discord. Sure, sure did. Sure did. Um, welcome. The sun has entered the chat. <laughs> I played it before. I couldn't get into it much, but that's probably my ADHD. Okay, I just wanted to warn you because we're about to open it. And this game is very spoiler heavy. You do not, if you're planning on playing it, or uh, you are playing it, then you know. Um, you don't want to get spoiled for anything in this game because once you know something, you can't unknow it. And it's vital to not know anything if you want to play this game. So, this is my spoiler, inner, spoiler alert announcement for everybody. We are going to open up the game if you are playing or Plan on playing Outer Wilds. Mute the volume, scroll off the page, tab away. You're welcome to hang out anyway and lurk, but don't look at it. Don't listen to anything. Cause I'm in the, definitely in the end, in the end times. <laughs> Spoiler is now a nerd. I'm in the end times. You don't want to get spoiled now. I just have such a feeling Rigel is going to be so spicy right now. And I'm just like hoping internally that she is not spicy enough that I end up rage quitting this whole stream right now. Rigel, don't push my buttons, okay? She's pushing my buttons. <laughs> She's pushing my buttons. <gasps> Oscar got a falling star. Oh, and before I switch over to the game, I know that's a bingo. I know that's a bingo. That's a bingo. There have been, in fact, three exactly. You got one, Whitney got one, and Oscar just got one. Don't be spicy, Rigel. All right, let me move this over here. I'll easily forget. <laughs> I don't know, Aiden. <laughs> Bongo. Here <laughs> Bongo. All right, you gonna chill out here? Oh, she did and lay down a little baby. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now I just need to open game, push buttons. <gasps> Thank you for doing your daily stargaze. Yes, Aiden. Welcome. Come on, game, open. Open, please. Open, please. Oh, shoot. I forgot all the stuff is on. No, go away, things. Go away, things. That's for Friday. Get out of here. That's for Friday. Okay. What are you doing under there? She always hides underneath her leg sometimes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Okay. I've had this 100 foot ethernet cable chilling on my office floor for a while and while I was pleading I decided today was the day. I rolled it up and put it away. Well, I don't have anything big enough to tie, <laughs> so I'll close it. So now I'm just walking around with 100 feet of cable in my hands. Oh no! Well, I suggest string. <laughs> string.
string, rope, multiple zip ties threaded together. Yes, excellent, a good idea. Is there actually a thing to look for for the falling star thingy? Mm, is there indeed? Is there indeed? Did you see a falling star? I saw a falling star. I did see one, in fact. Oh my gosh. I didn't think so for a while, but maybe I saw it this time. Mm. I see nothing. Well. Oh, it said thank you for the water. Oh, is there water in here? Oh yeah, there is. Thank you, Seth. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, whoa. It's been about 17 years since I got to play this last. So, I have a vague memory of what I need to be doing right now. Because we are pretty full up here. fresh oh marshmallows I <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense I guess oh why did it have the ship log up here oh no, it didn't I just was down enough what else is on here marshmallows we got a, a kettle mini TV oh here's some rope I need do you want that <laughs> for your cable ties got some bottles Alcohol, pots, a couple of pieces of wood. That seems fine. Those gears and stuff. Little herb plants. <laughs> Oxygen refill. Spot a tree. Walk towards it. Enjoy. It was a can of marshmallows. It's now a can of mushrooms. Oh, that makes sense. I found a tie and it's the dumbest thing I've ever used. Is it a shoelace? Is it a belt? Okay. Um. Right. Map. Why is the ship drifting to the side? There we go. It's gonna shoot me right into the sun. Yeah, you can go ahead and abort that autopilot. Thank you. <laughs> Our nemesis, the sun station. Birthday event balloons. They had it in on food trash bag. <laughs> hey, you know what? If it works, it works. Undershot target. You think? You think? Don't hit the. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Abort. It's just not further down. Ah, trying to get out of the way of you.
Yes, yes. All right, all right, relax. Relax. It's fine. No. Okay. Don't need it. I guess I didn't need to land on top of this. I guess I needed to be in here. Now, do I remember exactly what I need to do? How do I turn my light on? Oh, this is not what I wanted. Oh, right. Well, there goes my ship, so... Cool. <laughs> cool! Cool. Ship, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I, now I recall. This is, I think, the door that I want. It will not be. I can't have anything. Agree. Hi, hi five. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, shit. Is that... I forgot, I forgot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, it's fine. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Oh my god. I forgot. I forgot about that. A high five. I'll count it. Are you doing that for the bingo? I'll count that. You can have it. Designed by Rose. She's a hottie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Bongo. <laughs> okay. Um, now, how did I do this shit? A great question. Here's a crash course in what the fuck did I do last time? An excellent question. Wait. Pretty sure the story is in the Sims. It might be. episodes ago but that was also a couple like months ago in real time because I haven't really gotten to play this thanks to life being in your quad on Tuesdays in particular. Why does this feel so weird? I don't get a 
they know this stream, I'm gonna wreck the place. <laughs> okay, actually, I wonder if I do wanna... Of course, it's probably gonna take me quite a few tries to, like, figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do, but I actually wonder if I shouldn't put the ship on this thing for eventual later? Yo, I had the things on. Chill. Chill. Are you drifting? Excuse me. Excuse, excuse? The hell, the hell fuckery is this? What, what was that? That's not where I left you. Oh, it's bouncing on that thing? Okay. <laughs> Yo! Okay, now. That is a stupid sun station. Okay. I need to go this way. Rigel enjoyed a chew toy? Oh yeah, she did. Yeah, you're right. I don't remember where the stupid thing is. I know it's in the middle. I guess I could just follow this around and then I'll know for next time. Maybe that's why I get here so early. Maybe I'm supposed to leave my ship there. Found the sun. Don't get attacked. Sandy to go by again. Wow, what a nice view of all these planets that we have. Look at space happening out there. Oh, is, am I gonna get in here? Oh shoot, I do that every time. I do that every single time. Here it comes, here it comes. talk it'll happen again at some point <laughs> no problem 
no problem with having that one. It's a fucking cactus room. Okay. Bongo! <laughs> Bingo bongo! Okay, here we go. Oh god, this thing is killing me. I feel like I waited. Ooh. What? Am I on the wall right now? What is happening? There we go. Whoa! Disorienting. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I could have just taken gone immediately with the door. Maybe I'll try that next time. I feel like... Okay. Become powerful and also get you bingo. <laughs> Mateos 42 oh God, no, asked me, thing. three people have caught oh. falling stars. If three individuals ah. have managed to catch falling stars, it suggests a remarkable stroke of luck or a highly improbable event. It could also oh signify God. a moment of synchronicity or a unique bond between the individuals involved. However, in the world oh. of science and logic, Catching no. falling stars is purely a whimsical notion, no. devoid of any tangible meaning or significance. No! Oh my god, the sensation is the worst! <laughs> Let's go. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. That's no good. You got bingo twice? Whoa. Double bingo. Double bingo. Congrats. Congrats. You were also trying to run up the points. <laughs> Oh my god. I for I what I should have done before tonight's stream was gone back like three episodes and watched what the fuck I did the time that I did get there to refresh my memory. But I didn't do that. <laughs> so we're gonna have to suffer through it all over again. Bingo bongo. It's not gonna be okay. But we'll practice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is happening here? She's the wheat. Double bongos. certain I won't get far enough for this to matter. It feels like good practice. Alright, are we dancing or are we good? We're good. Okay, now we begin our long trek this way. Double 
Bingo Bongo. Monstrosity. Okay, now we wait. Anything else that I should add to the bingo for future? I know there are some actually outer wild specific suggestions as well in the Discord, which um if you have suggestions for the bingo specifically by game, there is now a discussion thread in the Discord that has currently in it all of the games that I am playing uh, have their own like discussion thread to put bingo things into. Yoink. Um, and so be careful to not send those ideas to the regular suggestion channel especially for this game because um, they could be really spoilery and we don't want to accidentally spoil other folks in the Discord who definitely I know want to play this game. Um, so be sure to keep those chats to the game specific zone. But uh, I can add bingo stuff per game, which is really fun. And I have a couple of Outer Wilds ideas in there, I think, already. Every time. Much better. <laughs> Much better. I feel like maybe I waited a really long time to do the sun station thing, but I don't remember now. If I remember like kind of pinging off of that piece of like wall. Although maybe I'll just try to go with the door this time. I don't know if that will work, but if it does work, that'll be great. Because I don't have to wait for anything. Which feels really ideal. <laughs> then I have to remember what I did after that. Which I think was going to... Is that the... No. The Sun Station 1 was just the Sun Station. Yo. Oh, 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 oh. 
Come on, 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 come on. Ah! Oh. Ah! No! You can do it! <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 it's right there! It's right there! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! It's right there! It's right there! It's right there! Oh my fucking god, I did it! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> there has got to be a better way than what I just did! Okay, so flinging yourself out with the door is maybe not the right tactic, although I did make it. So, is it? <laughs> Oscar, 100 soul laboratory bits, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that I did that. I can't believe that. That was a wild ride. I have a feeling I'm going to need to do this run multiple times, and I just don't think my heart can take that kind of stress every time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your celebratory bits. <laughs> oh my god. Stress. All right, we need a break. <laughs> we need a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh man dying dying in the chest area <sighs> stress stress <laughs> it's tight <laughs> it's tight a little bit here oh my god that was so intense Jesus <laughs> Oh, I can't do that every time. I can't do that every time. I Listen, there is no control anywhere in the vicinity of the sun station. All the controls get fucking wackadoodle. <sighs> Chill. Chill. Oh my god. All right. That's fine. That's, that's a good one, I think. It's up here. Is it over? I don't remember. Shit's hard. It is hard. There's got to be something better than what I did, though. Like, there has to be something that's better. I thought there was a thing up here. Am I misremembering? Sure, 
sure I need that to rotate so it's facing me. from here <laughs> can I just save the game here and just load it from this point I don't even know if that's what I need to do for sure but I it, it's what I'm trying to do I feel like I feel like the Ashman is a run now I feel like it's a run it feels like the final boss run level Which side is the side? Is it this side? The side where I just walked directly into a cactus? That side? <sighs> yes. Perfect. No fuel. <laughs> great. Doing great. Oh my god. Stress. Wow, even the comet lines up perfectly. Of course it does. Everything lines up. So I had time is what they're telling me. I had time. Thank you for lurking. I love you, but I gotta lie down. <laughs> Legit Sev, that was a ride. I forgot about that. <sighs> oh, I forgot about that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I forgot about that part. I forgot about that. I forgot that that one has no rules. I don't even 100% know if what I'm trying to do is the right thing. I don't even 100% know. I could be doing all of this for literally no reason at all. All right, let's double check the computer. I just feel like in my mind, I remember that was a plan. <laughs> and I don't remember, okay, let's. So the only question mark, the only question mark is the Ash Twin Project. That's it. There's no more question marks. There's no more asterisks. That's it. It's the Ash Twin Project. And there is some secret inside chamber that you can't get to. Any other way. And like, I feel like I have a sort of half-baked theory 
And my half-baked theory is that I need to go along all of the towers in order on the Ash Twin and zip-zap to the corresponding planet and I don't know if this is exactly the right thing, but there's some part of me that feels like I need to take those projection stones and put them in the thing. Over there. And then come back. I don't know why, like maybe, I, I guess I don't know, because I, I don't know if I've ever turned on multiple projection stones at once. But, I wonder if that's like what lights up the little doobie guys and then I need to like light them all up so that I can gain access to the oh that's not what I wanted to do let me refresh my memory on everything that's attached to this maybe uh okay yeah and there's some sort of weird time interval negative time yes and 22 minute negative time interval yeah okay so this is like that's the like, I'm cycling in a 22 minute loop. Okay, so the, right, so the Ashtrain was the location for the project for the new technology to have the energy and a warp core. No. The statues. Yes, so we found the statues, they're paired up to people, and they're got like statues in the Ashwin project. That I knew. That's what we see in that little thingy duda. And then each storage unit inside the Ashwin project was equipped with a mask, which could send the memories back. Okay, so this is a, okay, so it's, there's no way to get into the mine physically. You gotta jump there somehow, which I knew, that I remembered. Warp tower's alignment point is not the receiver. Right, so the, right, the warp tower goes to like the middle of a planet or like the middle of the twins, or the middle of the sun, or whatever. Or a receiver must be located on or in orbit around the body. Okay, the hourglass twins are so close together they function as one. Yes, we knew. All of the warp towers were being constructed on the ash twin, and the receivers were being constructed at different locations. Yes. And then a warp core. Is that just the thing that's powering those things? Or there's going to be some way for me to get in there. So, I feel like I need to, like, that's the boss run. I need to, like, do something in all of the warping locations. And I don't remember why I had the idea that, I remember that it was my idea. And that's why this episode is called Kiss My Ash, because I knew I was just going to be going into the ash twin over and over and over again. But I don't remember why I thought this, but I have in my mind a little nugget that's like, put the little thingies in, put them in the like viewer for some reason. Or maybe, I, I don't know why. I don't remember exactly why I had that. I just remember that I had the idea. Or, there's something else that I need to do instead of that. But I feel pretty confident that I need to like loop the Ash series. That part feels like correct to me. I think the, the putting the like little stone, I forgot what they're called. I put those little stone things. Why does this feel like it's so slow? What is happening? Um, I will 
tell you that I really wish I had been able to play this game without interruptions. Because <laughs> trying to remember what wackadoodle theories I had from like a month ago <laughs> is, it turns out, a little bit of a challenge. It's a little bit of a challenge. Like, is that right? Maybe. Is part of it right? Probably. At least some of it. But... I feel pretty good about making an Ash Twin run. Like, that feels like definitely a thing that is happening. Because I, I was kind of doing that. I remember that I had gotten to the second one at the end of like maybe three episodes ago, I had gotten to the middle of the second location when I realized that I could essentially make a run. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, that is the thing, I guess. So now I have to like learn the pattern, <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. And or it's not quite right, but I don't remember <laughs> because the last time I played this was, I think, actually a month ago. <laughs> and I wasn't doing this at that point. That was still a few episodes before. So very TBD here. This is such a lovely game, and it is such a me game. And I don't regret playing it, but I am a little sad about the timeline of how it happened. Because it would have been awesome to have given this, like, my full and undivided attention. And that is just not what life has been. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe it's actually getting warm in this room, which is making me yawn. It's never warm in here, it's always cold, but I opened all the windows today because it was actually hot outside. There's always the DLC, since as far as I know, you don't have that yet. Uh, I do own the DLC, but I have not been to wherever the DLC happens. Yes, correct. So that's true. There is definitely still more past the end point of the game. Wow, I really picked the wrong way to go up. I was right where I started, huh? <laughs> good grief. I did too good of a job. Ooh, my goodness. means I missed it. Oh, and I went to the wrong side. Are you kidding me? I was on the right side the whole time. <laughs> Fuck right off. Oh, right, because it's the back way. Oh, I'm too late. Too late!
Wow, I did come up right to it. Damn. <laughs> damn, damn. Well, there was no way to know. I know it's on the equator, but it's kind of a hit or miss guess situation. Oh, it is stretching. Oh, it is warm in here. That's so unusual. All the lights, I guess. Usually this room is freezing. It was like 82 today. It's very hot. My takeoff is so slow. I don't know if that's because it is slow for some reason or if that's because... Because I've been playing Spacecrafter a bunch in my off time to kind of shut my brain up. And there is a jetpack situation in that game. And the jetpack is much faster. Well, I, it, it feels faster. Like, it feels more. take off and I go nowhere. It's gravity a thousand. Oh man, it's the tired. It is the tired. I am the tired. sleeping well for like maybe three weeks at this point. Undershot, that's fine. Press which pole do I want to be on? The Nerth pole? Or the surf pole. It almost certainly will not matter. For now.
Again, I went right to it, did I? Almost, I should have gone the other way, I knew it. I knew it in my gut, it sinks. Gosh, Oscar, it's so late for you. They're sending you to bed in 30 minutes? You're entirely wibbly. Oscar, thank you. Melchie, thank you for the waters. It's dry in this room, so you drink. Do you want some? Do you want some water? <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Cheers, Slancha. Belchie, don't watch. You can't watch now. This is secrets. Thanks for popping in, but also don't spoil yourself. <laughs> what is happening? Who knows? Nobody knows. Oh, big stretches? Rigel will take the sleep test. Oh my goodness. Rob the bellies. <laughs> Look away. <laughs> Spoilers. Okay. 
Okay, we're going back in. Oh, I lost my mouse. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh no, okay. Oh, I reached it from here. Look at me go. Get dizzy. You are getting sleepy. You are getting sleepy. Who knows? Oh, my shadow is so cool again. Oh my goodness. There we go. I am just full of regret, y'all. I just, I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to do this thing and I don't even know if it's right. So maybe I didn't need to use those things clearly. I just have to commit. <laughs> just go for it. Don't wait. Come on now. We're losing oxygen down here. Timber Heart, though, 
didn't I? Right, we'd go to the Ember Twin. And then we have to go, I think, through this? It feels like a thing. Might be a thing, it might not be a thing. We're about to find out if it is, in fact, a thing. I did come here. I think I may have gone. Oh, here's the thing. Uh, I don't think I did this though. Is it down there? The stupid thing that I need. Oh, much of one of the beds down there. That would be the most obnoxious. I have to follow this shit. I came here. I think I went to Timber Hearth. Is this where I started? No. Not sure. Well, this is a learning experience is what this is going to be and I'm just going to get very good at diving into the sun station. Not sure where the thing is. I'm just gonna get sucked down here. I'm certainly taking too long here, but that's okay. This is the learning time. Yeah, not 100% sure about that. I thought I saw... not great. <sighs> so I either have to get 
get really good. Or there needs to be certain things along the way that are going to refuel me. Like, I remember outside of one of the black, I mean, not the black hole, one of the warp panels somewhere, I remember finding <gasps> a, I don't remember if it was an oxygen tank or a gas tank. I think it was maybe a fuel tank. And I remember being like, why would anyone need a fuel tank here? That's such a weird place to put a fuel tank because you just land right next to it and then you wouldn't need it. But actually, but actually though. Oh my God, the crosses are all different. Four, five, three. A secret code. She's dreaming. Whoa. Did you hear it? It didn't go. It's so delayed. My stream deck buttons are so slow. I am also debating getting a new computer. There we go. Delays. But she's dreaming. Look at her little toes. She's just the cutest when she's asleep. <laughs> She's so cute when she's asleep. Every time. A million percent cute when she's asleep. Hi. Oh, Little baby. Little baby. flying. I was flying the ship. I was flying the ship when I paused. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh god. What else is broken here? The electrical system. You don't need an electrical system. Probably. There we go. Oh, I can't fix it. Alright, not like this. Not like this. reach the electrical systems where the ship is and I can't move the ship out.
That's great. What? saw that before second oh. of all did that only fail because my ship was tilted or uh does that eject me into the roof every time that was a fucking achievement that's amazing wait a minute we need to test this now i never fucking saw that oh my god Amazing! So it just ejected me into the room because the ship was crooked. Incredible. Honestly, best, best way I could have found that out. That's amazing. Hey, what's this button do? Oh my god. Get out of town and take a bus. Okay. Oh my god, the liftoff is like so slow now. Why does it feel so slow? It feels so slow. Oh, oh not again. Not again. No! It didn't fix it! No! There we go. Ugh! Is this what I want? An excellent question. Am I screwing myself over later? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe.
comet is in my colors. We need to perform science. Should I be wasting my things on here? No. <laughs> nope. Ow, Rigel. Ah. Sleepy bean. Ooh, bean is too riches. Oh. Better back up. Do, do, do. is a little bit of hurry up and wait which I guess is good because it means I'm doing a good job of getting to the points <laughs> early which probably bodes well for the whole run <laughs> against my arm, please. Hi. Are you dreaming? Are you dreaming? Dreamer beaming? Just a dreaming little doggy? Yeah. Yeah. You're just a dreaming dog. Just a dreaming dog. Welcome back. Hi. Stop licking your feet. Please stop licking your feet. Sis. Stop licking your feet. Sis. Oh, this is a big yawn. What kind of snacks did you bring? I'm feeling a little snacky myself. Rigel, please stop licking your feet. <laughs> No fear, Sun Station. No fear. Oh, I'm not going out like that. Like that much. Cinnamon Crunch Popcorners? What? 
What is that? your feet okay <gasps> and especially stop doing it into my ribcage thank you popcorners i think i've seen those chips popcorn chips cinnamon crunch oh winnie did you see the eject button did you know about the eject button because that's the thing that I just found out about. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Assuming from your laughter that you know what I'm talking about, but I... I accidentally... So I started to fly the ship out, but then Rydra was sleeping but like dreaming in her sleep, so I paused the game to switch to the dog cam and so we could all watch her little feet run. Which was very cute. Yeah, okay, under shot target, that's fine. Um, and uh, when I switched back to the game, I forgot that I was already trying to fly the ship. So I basically crashed back down onto the planet because I had just barely gotten off of it. Oh my god, oh my god, why are you going so fast? Slow down, slow down, slow down. And I essentially crash landed, um, kind of crooked, and I couldn't, uh, I, I busted part of the ship, but I couldn't get out to repair it, because I couldn't reach the repair. So I got back into the ship and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do because I can't fly the ship in any direction. And I can't, like, reach the repair, and I was just about to restart the, the, uh, the run, and my mouse went over text I hadn't seen, and I was like, wait, what is that? And I was like, lift eject thing, and I was like, what? And then I ejected myself, it's but not because like the you ship didn't was know freaking, that. I slammed I said I love you, and, and I swear, I still do. <laughs> And it must have been so bad, cause living with me must have damn near killed you. And this is how you remind me of what I really am. Aaron, hello, welcome in. <laughs> what a way to find out about that button, instant death. So I had to test it <laughs> in the next run to see if it uh, just like, if that was sort of the joke, like it just was broken and it would shoot you into the roof of the ship or if it's just cause the ship was crooked and it turns out it's just cause my ship was crooked. No. No, ma'am. No. No, Miss Itchy Feetses. No. Dry. Come on now. Stop. Chew on this if you need something to chew on. Try this thing. That's why I brought it in here for you. I'm just going to lick my hand instead. I can't play if you do that, but I don't want you to lick your feet. This is what my days are like. <laughs> it's just like this all the time. Oh, I just can't do what I need to do because I need to let Rigel lick my hands so she doesn't lick her feet. Okay. Are you satisfied? No. <laughs> oh, that's this big yawns. Yeah, big yawns. Oh my gosh. Instead of a head cone, she needs little feet cones that go on her ankles. Yes. Yes. That would be wonderful. I do, I do not have them. Actually, probably not really because 
it's a nice idea in in my mind but actually i just started thinking about how it would work but the cones would have to be so long that she so she couldn't get around them but if they were that long she would be able to walk <laughs> dang i liked it i liked it though i thought it was a great idea gonna make a nest go ahead go ahead I gotta wait for the storm to come around anyway like little hand cones if we can't stop like scratching ourselves or stuff like that. That would be the way. Because a neck cone is not gonna not gonna help a person but hand cones might be great. Because then you can still manipulate things inside of the cone but then not. Oh my gosh. I apologize for all the yawning. My sleep schedule is still kind of off. Y'all. Well, thank you, Sam. No, 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 don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Not again. I don't know why I go so close, because I can't get in the door anyway until it goes down. moon. That's fun. It's cool now that I understand it, or most of it. I don't know, maybe that's how you get to the DLC area. If you can figure out how to... Although I did try to go in the thing and it didn't let me, and then once it just looped me back to the other part of the moon. No fear. No fear. Up, 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 up. Oh, too hard. I didn't go up enough. Oh, man. Trying to get you like you sleepy. Maybe that's just. Uh... Well, maybe we'll just call it just a, a snippet early. Rigel still has itchy feet. So I don't think that medication is going to kick in until tomorrow. Probably. And I actually didn't get to wipe her feet down when I took her outside on the little break that we had because, um, she, I don't have the, I, I keep like a, um, a, like a spray bottle full of water and, uh, like face cloths by the door, like the front door where I normally take her out so that every single time we come back inside, I spritz, spritz them and I wipe her feet down from all the like grass or pollen or whatever is outside since I now know she's allergic to literally the entire outside. Um, 
but I don't have it by the back door here. And when I took her out in the middle of stream, I took her out this door. And so I didn't wipe her feet down. And I wonder if that's why she's also a little bit more licky. <sighs> so I should go take her in the other room and wipe her feet down. She's just so cute now though. She's just so the cutest now. Uh, in five minutes when my stream deck catches up to me, <laughs> we'll do a little swapsies here. We'll do a little swapsies. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. And a treadmill session. Oy oy. Oy oy. Look at her. Just look at how cute she is now though. The cutest. The cutest now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see who we're going to raid. Although it was really nice to play this <laughs> for once. For once. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I still am too afraid to... <laughs> Emotional, damn it! <laughs> I'm still too afraid to raid someone else who's playing this, though. J just because. Hey, you never know. You never know. You just might need it. You might need it. It's there. It's available for you anytime for whatever reason. No reason or any reason. Oh my goodness. Hoy, yoy, 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 yoy. Doing fine. Just taking a few naps. Allow yourself some rest. Hey. That's a great. Now I should I almost took a nap today. I don't like naps usually because I don't feel better after taking them, but I think I've gotten so little sleep in the last three weeks that I just need the extra sleep <laughs> to like catch up. My sleep bank is running low. You know? But there are a lot of people who really love naps and like yay for the I don't understand but like yay for those people because it seems to work <laughs> it seems to work but resting I'm a big proponent of resting I think we don't rest enough so I'm glad that you had a chance to do that you're making a big mashup song wow wow very fun I don't love naps, but I need naps or I'll die. <laughs> I pass out for about 15 minutes every day after eat lunch. My problem is I can't like sleep for that short of a time. Like, I don't know how people nap for like 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I like don't quite even fall asleep at that time. And then I, the thing's going off and I'm like, Ugh, it has to be like an hour. <laughs> or I know you're supposed to do it at like, 30 minute increments. Sorry, this is the result of not enough sleep. Sleep on the floor on your back? I never sleep on my back. Like I said, I'll die if I don't ask. I just literally pass the fuck out. Well, you know. You know. You gotta do it. If you're that tired, then you gotta. You gotta. You gotta. Wake up call is 5.45. Oh my God. It's so early. <laughs> That's so early. After which I must drive an hour. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's too much. No, thank you. <laughs> if I were, I wouldn't be so bad if I didn't also have to drive. Yeah, that is all, just all bogus. Just all absolute, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. 
No thank you to any of that. My job started at 6 or 6.30 and I woke up at that time. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's just too early for anything. I am very lucky in that I work from home and I can literally just roll out of bed and log in. Which is honestly the best for me because I am not a morning person. At all. At all. Nada. Na nothing. Bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Same. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. It's the worst time for me. I don't even schedule. In fact, I put a block on my calendar. Like I put a meeting in my calendar that just says block on it for the first two hours of the day because I am just at my worst brain time then that like I don't want people having meetings with me during that time. Like don't meet with me. Pro tip, if you don't want to meet with somebody at a certain time, just put something on your calendar and then they'll see you as busy. No meeting because I'm mean. <laughs> I just like don't function well. So if you need me to do things, I'm gonna be slow to process. And I promise you it'll happen You'll get it faster if you meet with me later and then I just turn it around for you real quick instead of if you do it in the morning and then I struggle bus through it and then get it back to you. Ugh. Ugh. You know? You know? I don't like it. So pro tip, put a thing on your calendar. Then it says you're busy and people who want to make meetings with you won't. And if it's a meeting that's already standing in that time, then y'all suck it up and go to it. But never tell chat your weakness. That my weakness is the morning? What are you going to do about it? I don't stream in the morning because why? I'm not functional. <laughs> I stream at night. Why? Because I'm very functional. <laughs> I'll be scheduling early meetings with you from now on. You can try. There's an event in my calendar, so I'll... There's an event in my calendar. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll make it my mission to get hired at your job. Oh, don't do that. Actually, you very much can't for the next five months because we don't have enough funding for the people we had already. <laughs> so that is not an option for you. Flat up. <laughs> Flat up, not a thing. But who knows what that will mean for my daytimes and my nighttime. So maybe work will be less stressful in a way once I find out what I actually am going to do for this time until October when I go back to my normal job. Eh? Might be less stuff getting in the way of stream or at least one fewer thing getting in the way of stream in the evening. So like that's good. I'll take the positive. Like, I still have a job, so I feel fine. I feel okay, so it's good. Which means that we'll see everyone on Thursday for more Hades. We'll see. Will I make it out? Never. I'm never making it out of Tartars. <laughs> uh, and then I think we're back Friday with Melchi and Wyra. Though I haven't checked in with them. But I think we're back. And Superstar is not back this Friday. But he's back next Friday. So this Friday, I think it's just Melchi and Wyra and me playing through more space lines from the far out, which is gonna be super duper fun. Hades means heaven in Japanese. <laughs> what? <laughs> the more you know. Sounds cool. See you then. See you then. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We're going to grab a raid message. And um, I don't want to raid anybody who's playing Outer Wilds. Because, obviously, just in cases. So I'm going to raid a person I don't know um, who is playing Planet Crafter, which is the game that I have been recently very obsessed with. Um, so I hope that they're 
a cool person and that their stream is a cool vibe. I don't know them. I just clicked on them in a list. TBD. It just says decompression session, planet crafter and chill. So hopefully a nice like little wind down vibe for everybody for their evening. Um, and then we'll see you all on Thursday for murder. Y'all have been stellar. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you Thursday and Friday. Have a good week. Happy hump day, etc. Goodbye. Hello, you universe. <laughs> Do you want some cake? I'm in danger. Oh, come on, Munchkin. I'm starving. Fucking feed me. I'm doing great. I don't like rooms with just a chair in it. This is so sweet. Wait. Parkour, parkour. Watch, watch out for that red thing. Watch out for it. Watch oh! out. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I thought it was his wife. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're only 78% sure. Ooh, it's a little bit low. But fucking send up for treatment anyway. This is a teaching hospital, so try your best. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that? What is that COVID-19 looking thing in the background? No, thank you. Here they come. With their little wee-woo heads. Wee-woo. Who wants to be a glimmyanolinaire? Wee-woo, wee-woo. Let's see her little face. Boop. Nailed it.